Hello. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. So I've been watching quite a few videos on them. About time travel, uh, consciousness, uh, and UFOs. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's a near death experience. Uh, <laughs> One thing I here is people talk about like how when they die they uh, have this very beautiful feeling of um, like it's a bliss like it's a very good good feeling uh, I don't know if now is a good time to make the video because it's night and people are asleep. <laughs> anyway, so... And sometimes one of the comments I hear is that because when they have this near-death experience, which is after they have these uh, death kind of experiences, they say they, um, they experience is such a beautiful thing that they don't want to come back to life. <laughs> and so the people, so the people, have, so far I've only seen a few videos, but a common theme is, let me just put this. Um, uh, after that, um, beautiful conscious oh, experience, um, something like that. Feeling This sounds good because it, it sort of says that oh I just can't wait to die and go to this place. <laughs> but what I would say is the thing that came to my mind is like when you die you lose your individuality. Some people say you're still the same person. Like when you die you're still the same Person, but well, but what I would respond to that is the reason when I would tell people like this is the reason you feel like you live on forever is because you haven't really died. If you actually died, uh, you know, and you didn't come back, uh, I would say that you will eventually lose your individuality and you will like go back to the uh, the ocean of consciousness so uh, yeah, that's what I want to say is like I don't think people should be so quick to assume that after we die we live forever I don't think I don't think that's necessarily true my my sort of instinctual or feeling is that all of these near all of these near-death experiences people had an experience and i do believe that is a valid experience but i don't think that's the end of the story because they came back to life what I'm saying is if you actually died and allowed the death 
to complete. I would say that the individual person will loses their individuality and they they like through the process of losing their individuality and becoming a part of this whole that is the uh, it's a feeling of bliss like when you move from being an individual to becoming part of the whole yeah you, you, you get this very beautiful feeling but what i'm saying is as you continue to die you lose your individual uh sense of self it's sort of like a uh the process of like losing yourself is sort of like you're not aware it's happening to you it's like you die and as you die as you continue to you know go through the process of dying you lose yourself and and the awareness of you losing yourself of you as a person like like you lose yourself <laughs> it's like you're able to experience feeling good and going back into that i think that's a good beautiful kind of place but as you're going through it you're also like losing yourself and you're not aware that it's happening so what i would say is life is an opportunity to be an individual when you're alive it's like your brain or your body is like a, a it's like a focus if you can think of consciousness as this background like noise or whatever uh, an individual like a, a, a like me uh, here or you or wherever we're like focal points where consciousness comes together and this focal point is an individual so when you're alive you get to have the experience of being an individual uh and so you, as an individual focal point of consciousness you get to live for a while yeah you you live for a little bit you know you get to experience this physical kind of life um and it's a beautiful thing in and of itself so i wouldn't so i would i would tell people to with that kind of perspective to understand that the life the life that we have is kind of precious because it is it is very temporal we're not going to be here for <laughs> for much uh i don't think dying is a bad thing you know but it is a loss when someone dies what you're mourning is the loss of their individual self uh but you know uh, so that is kind of like a loss you know we shouldn't we shouldn't sort of like it's okay to grieve someone's death because even though that individual is a temporary kind of thing Uh, yeah you're losing a person death means that person you're losing that person that individual and yes the after dying you know consciousness that which was in that person the the focal thing you know that goes back to <laughs> wherever it was uh, into the background uh so i i would say that when you're alive um enjoy it enjoy life <laughs> enjoy being an individual as much as is possible while you're alive uh because you know after we die it's an eternity and but you know being alive being an individual is only a 
there's only so much time you have. Um, and yeah, dying is a loss. It is, it is okay to grieve. It's okay to grieve a loss. Um, another thing I was watching was like time travel. It seems to me like time travel is actually a real thing, and, and, uh, and these UFOs, it seems like a lot of them might be um, um, time traveling people or beings from another dimension, and, and uh, this creates a whole new. There's this. Uh, this video I watched was it? Yeah, it's called. It's called. Uh, no. It was an interview with the person who wrote the day after Roswell. It was like a it was one of the mil military people who was um. Wait a minute. Where do I get? Oh. I need to put the the key. This is day after Roswell interview. Let's continue. There he is. So there. Yeah, uh, this is pretty good. Um. Oh man, I don't know, I've been watching a lot of... And there's also like... I don't know... This is a very... This is a... This is actually another good... Like um... Funny, what the... I mean, there are lots of <laughs> because now I'm realizing life is so uh, like uh, it's like it's like we've been lied to. There's all these things about life that that have been dismissed, which should not have been dismissed. So, oh yeah, here we go. Um. Hmm. Uh, let's do it this one. This person is uh, um, is Jack Understanding so far is that a lot of these UFOs might be time travelers and and, and and time traveling means not necessarily they're from the future. It's just they might be from another dimension. Because when you travel back in time, you you change the timeline. So. Come on, where is that? I can't go. Uh, oh man, alright, okay, here we go. Another one. Uh, mm Actually, he and my ordering the book. So, time travel. Dangerous. You should be both. Can 
Legend from the future and well, extra powers. Um, there is a sense of sense of chaos. Most people <laughs> live in a world something and they had already the powers that be who are trying to keep society afloat. Just underneath the surface, things could fall apart quite easily. Maybe this is why the perhaps the reason for the secrecy. I'm not just justifying it. I guess, I guess the idea is that the time traveling was invented 1940s through the US engineering of ET tech uh, recovered. Okay. So, pregnancies. I mean, this all sounds like crazy stuff, but I mean, I think the films are reflecting reality <laughs> to a certain extent. I still have to learn more about that, actually. Uh, this is another one I heard. Um, I think the CIA is also trying to promote kind of like miss in all well, they're trying to perform, promote some disinformation so it's like mm, there's this admiral bird some some kind of um talks about some place in the south pole or in the Arctic. Yeah, I think this is good. I There's some confusion, maybe there's some disinformation from the CIA. Uh, I think these people call themselves, they're not Aryans, I think they're more like something else, but <laughs> they seem to be more peaceful than, uh, anyway. Uh, This is an interesting story. Uh, I think there might be some truth here, so. <sighs> so we'll leave that there.